Okay, so one strategy, I guess you can kind of call it. Um, one strategy that I like to use uh, when buying um, Bitcoins, I'm um, sorry, cryptocurrency um, and altcoins, I meant to say. Uh, one strategy I like to use is the newer, the better, right? So something that uh, I liked was that if, let's just say, a coin is coming out, right, and the ICO is... Five cents, right? So the ICO would say, okay, you know, you can buy this many at five cents. Um, sometimes if you buy more, they'll get it to you for cheaper. Uh, or if you buy it early enough, it'll be cheaper. You know, uh, the first round is usually cheaper than the fifth round. Or, um, you know, 1,000 is usually cheaper than 100. So, you know, you, you kind of have different ways to go about it, right? So with using that strategy, I typically go to uh, the more popular, um, more popular uh, exchanges, right? So I'll, I'll show you like the kind of the ones that I, I typically follow and ones that I like to do. And then what I'll do is um, I'll kind of give like, I guess like, in a way, I'll say things that are coming out or news that spread and I'll keep like a screenshot of it and then I'll maybe wait until it explodes or whatever and talk about how if you bought the strategy um, or let's just say if you were have, have done a strategy or if I had done the strategy, what amount of money would have been made um, and what it would look like, right? So the reason why I'm going to do that is because um, I don't want to count if I make money, I don't want to count. If someone else makes money, I don't want to count like that. I kind of want to just talk about um, where we are in the uh, the two in the, in this strategy, right? So basically, let's look at um, Binance, right? So Binance is probably the most popular cryptocurrency platform out there. Uh, after that, will probably be Coinbase. If Coinbase goes more into the Asian market, then I think Coinbase will be more popular, but. At least Binance is open to the idea of a lot of stuff. So um, so we'll just look at what Binance has here as their latest news. Um, so nothing crazy, uh, but just a bunch of different coins, right? So there is a coin that had already had just came out on Binance, and that's this coin right here called Harmony. Uh, this is a coin that actually I heard about maybe a couple months before it came out, maybe six months or so before it came out. And introducing, you know, the sales, you know, token sell on Binance platform, right? So what they're pretty much doing, they're breaking down how to calculate, you know, how to buy, how to get tokens and stuff like that. And um, they also talk about how much one token is, right? So the public sell uh, for one is about a third of a cent, right? And that's in U.S. dollars, right? So one third of one penny, okay? So for every penny you put up, you got three of these things. And that's not bad. And um, this right here, I'll, I'll show you guys my little strategy on this, but this tends to show that the price isn't going to explode to like, you know, thousands. It may just go to a dollar, right? Or maybe at the most, I would probably say $10. But that supply is, is a really high supply, right? Um, and that's the, uh, and, and then it's obviously the 5 million is the, is the cap or whatever. But so that's going to show the supply. And then it says that right now they're only going to sell one, $1.1 billion, 1.1 billion of them. Right. So that's, and that's not bad. Right. So, and they're also, and they're also doing like a lottery. So it pretty much it's hard to get them. Right. So that's kind of how they're looking at it. Right. So we're going to use that as our, our basis of, okay, so it's hard to get. It's not that many. Of, it's a lot of them, but it's not many of them being sold. Um, there's still a bunch more in supply, which means that they're going to hit the market. Okay, so with market manipulation, what will happen is um, if it does go up in price, you'll see a slew of people selling it, which means it will drop in price instantly. Uh, it won't hold its price for very long because they still have uh, 10 to 11 billion left. Um, so let's just say they're selling it, uh, this 1.1 billion, it's 12% of them, and they're planning on making $5 million. Well, selling it at three times whatever the price is will mean that they'll be making 15 million selling it at five times whatever the price is which is again a third of a penny so selling it at one penny will make them 15 billion right by selling 1.5 billion uh so you kind of got to look at that in those terms right so because they have so much more still laying around they're going to slowly put them out or they're going to put them out once the price hikes 
which means that they're going to step it down. So when it goes up to two cents or whatever, it's going to be stepped down to one, maybe even half. And then it's going to go back up and it's going to do it again, another step down, right? So when we look at the market on core market cap, right? So we'll see right now it's at about two cents, right? So if you were to have gotten lucky in the lottery, you would have got them for free, I believe. And if you would have got bought them um, when they were on sale from Binance, you would have at one point probably nine to 10 X your money, right? So when we scroll down to the market, we can see that it came out around this time here at around almost two cents. And then it jumped up to almost three cents and then it went past three cents. And again, like I mentioned before, because of market manipulation, uh, they're going to step it down, right? So you're going to see like not high volume, but as you can see, there was extremely high volume here and that's going to create a lot of FUD, uh, which is a uh, fear, um, you know, people, people having fear, uh, uh, fear, uh, something else in doubt, right? Um, uh, uncertainty and doubt, right? So with fear, uncertainty and doubt, people are going to instantly start selling off. Plus you got to remember, like I told you before, they're stepping it down. They're going to, they're going to sell off a bunch of it. So, uh, let's just see how many are in circulation, right? Uh, right now in circulation, no one knows. Um, so most like again, most likely, uh, there's about, I would probably say about 4 billion in circulation, right? Um, because they're going to, they're going to step it down. So here's the first step down, uh, from three. So as soon as they hit three, they put a bunch on the market doo -doo 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 -doo, and they stepped it down around here where they're going to sell it at three, two point something, two point something, two point something, and then one, and then they're going to wait for it to rise up in price again. And then here we are again around this number and then they're stepping it down again to two to one uh so here it is and that we're now at um now we're at what we call uh the next step right so this is all within like what the month or so so this is all the this is how they're stepping it down from three and down right so they'll probably wait again for the hit three and they'll put more into the market so it's a good it was a good buy uh, but that's a strategy that I like to use. It's like when it first hits the market or right before it hits the market, if the exchange is popular, the coin is popular and it lets you buy, I would I would suggest um, myself to buy right at that point. Uh, let's see if I can find it on here so we can just see if there's any news that indicates why it dropped. Right. So we'll just type in O N E. And you didn't type the O. All right, so we got Harmony, right? So Harmony, uh, the news down here is nothing, right? So nothing there, and then any news here, and there's nothing there, right? So there isn't like any actual news, you know, you can you could follow it, but like there's nothing that's gonna say, you know, that's newsworthy for you to, again, follow it. So, um, but yeah, so, Getting a coin uh, from off the list. So when, when Binance is talking about doing certain things, like you can see right here, here's another coin. I haven't heard about this one, but I'll look into it and I'll give my synopsis on it. But here it is, nine day period. Um, they're selling it at this low, low price. Not bad at all. 20 billion of them are in circulation. So um, it's not bad. Plus they have the uh, Binance lottery format. So again, not bad. So we could typically win a good amount, uh, but it's not a, it's not going to drain the market. So if you sold that right instantly, you're not going to drain the market at all. Um, so winning ticket is going to get about this much. That's not bad at all. So they're they're trying their best. But again, do your research. Obviously, check to see what this coin does and what it's about. But this coin's going to be coming out. Um, uh, it's actually January July first. I guess that's that that is launch claim ticket. Um, and then, oh, I'm, I'm assuming it's probably soon then, uh, here we go. Starting the 22nd, right? So it's in a couple of days, um, being able to get this coin or whatever, uh, being part of the lottery and then they give you the rules on what to do and stuff like that. But, um, but yeah, so if this coin comes out, you're able to get it, you know, under a 10th of a penny, you know, it's like, uh, I don't, you know, I don't really want to, I think it's like one six thousandth of a penny, you know, whatever it is, something like that. Um, it's not a bad buy. Um, but as you can see, they're trying their best to, again, you know, push out coins that will make sense for people. So, again, uh, getting getting this coin at this low price and then it hitting a penny 
uh, could potentially skyrocket or whatever, however much you put in there. So if you put in 100 bucks, you're possibly talking about maybe making a 20x if it hits a penny. But it is at 20 billion, plus they're putting out 5 billion on the total. They're putting that out instantly. So 5 billion is going to be in the market, which is a lot to be on there. So don't expect it to raise within like a month or a week. But it is a good it is good if it's a good coin. So if it's a good coin, it's on a good market, it's a good buy. You know what I'm saying? So and uh so pretty much wanted to point that strategy out. Sorry about that. Um I got a phone call. But yeah, so what we'll do is we'll take a screenshot of this and then we'll pretty much try to just recap pretty much uh in, in about a a week or a month or two. I'll I'll wait about two weeks before. Uh so we'll try back a little bit after July, like in middle of July maybe. And then what we'll say is just, okay, if we were to have purchased it back at this point, uh, what would the price have been? Um, you know, how much we would have made. Um, I'll also maybe in a couple days, I'll see if there's a way to purchase it. Right. So when it comes out in a couple of days, um, I'll try to see if there's a way to purchase it. I won't per personally purchase it, but I'll show you guys the way to purchase it. And what we'll do is we'll just we'll just follow it. Right. Again, um, so there's a there's a whole reason that I, I'm not going to show myself purchasing it and stuff like that. But we're going to just pretty much go through the steps as if we are purchasing it. And then we'll recap after two weeks and then maybe a month. So we'll try to follow some things to say, OK, had we purchased this, had we done X, Y and Z, this is how much we would have profited from. So and I'll show you guys all that stuff. So if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Um, if there's anything else that I'm missing out there in the news, um, any other strategy you can think of, let me know. But again, Binance, uh, Hubie, I guess that's how you say it. Um, KuCoin, uh, I couldn't go to their website for some reason. And Yobit uh, for, as, as well, I couldn't go to their website for some weird reason. But these are the three that I would find that have, you know, the better news out of the other uh, strategies. Like they're the ones that are actually you know, adding a bunch of coins and making sure that they keep people updated on what the coins are, are, are talking about, as well as updating the people for uh, what their platform is doing with the coin. So I kind of like that. So uh, comment, you know, you can like if you want, you can subscribe if you want. But right now we're just kind of just putting pieces together of some things that we can do so that when stuff starts skyrocketing, we're part of it and we're not missing out on it.